Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the edit mesh menu and the merge and merge to center tools. These tools can be used on edges, verts, or faces, and you can get an idea of what a tool can be used on depending on its grouping within a menu. See how these tools are grouped under components. So that can be any combination of edges, verts, or faces. Other tools like the edit edge flow tool is under the edge grouping and therefore can only be used on edges. And that's just something nice to know about how Myers menus are organized. So let's just go over the merge tool first. In these examples, I'm gonna be selecting vertices, but as I mentioned before, it can be verts, edges, or faces. If we go ahead and make a selection of these verts, it doesn't really matter the order as this tool works based on a distance threshold and also these ones here. With these now selected, I can go to edit mesh, merge, and you're gonna see nothing happens at first. That's because of the distance threshold. Notice how it's a very small value, but if we just go ahead and adjust the distance threshold, just increasing it, you can see how these verts start to pop together and merge. Okay, so let's just explore something different. Just head up to edit mesh, merge, and then just click the little option box for the tool. Notice how there is a checkbox for always merge for two vertices. What this will do, if we go ahead and make a selection of two vertices, no matter the merge distance, because we only have two vertices selected, this tool will always merge these. Next, say you wanted to merge edges for example, we can only merge border edges. This means we couldn't just use the merge tool to merge these two inside edges, but we could however merge these two as they are on the border of our mesh. Head to edit mesh, merge, you might find you need to increase the tolerance a little, and sometimes you might also need to toggle off world space, so the tolerance is based relative to the mesh we're working on. And also notice we get some extra options with the selection type, and the main one to focus on is merge UVs, which can be nice when joining meshes if you want this tool to kind of take care of that for you. Lastly, let's go over what to do if you wanted to merge some edges, which aren't on a border. We can always use the merge to center tool. You can get to it by going to edit mesh, merge to center. If we do this, you can see that those two edges will collapse into a point. Not always the result we're looking for, but good to know nonetheless. Right, so that's the merge tools for this video. And of course there's other tools such as the target world tool, but that's not going to be the focus of this video. Be sure to join the Discord server to chat with a great community of fellow modelers and check out my Gumroad for access to the members only chat and a whole bunch of assets and tools. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons, come chat with me on the Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.